Welcome to Come From Avenue 2. I'm your host, Echo Ben Graywell. And this damn thing went away from what I had Google. Alright. So, I'm about to piss off a lot of people. Okay? If you are a Blade fan, you are going to get pissed off. Because... We need to make some corrections on logic thinking. I would be doing this outside, but my laptop doesn't have the power to um, function on that level. So first, let's Google the word anomaly. Something different, abnormal, particular, not easily classified. Okay? Remember that. Something abnormalist that regarded of testing results is an anomaly. Deviation from the common rule, irregularity. Now, here's where shit gets interesting. Hybrid. A hybrid, technically, is an anomaly. It is a combination of two different things. All right? So, hybrid. Hybrid. Offspring of two plants or animals of different species or varieties such as a mule is a hybrid of a donkey and a horse all right a thing made combining two different element mixtures hybrid stage play and film all right so you got that what do they mean by hybrid an offspring of two different animals or plant species breeds variety species Genre, hybrid, have two roses, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we got those established. So Blade within himself is a hybrid anomaly. You cannot call him half vampire. Now I'm going to explain that. For everybody who's seen the Blade movie, the origin was pretty cut and dry. Deacon Frost bit Blade's mom. She went into labor. Deacon Frost's enzymes got into his bloodstream. Changing blade forever. Okay? Now, to be a half breed, God damn it. To be a half breed, I have some nature in that, being that both of my parents are mixed. All right, my father's father was black. My father's mother was Native American, okay? My mother's mother is mixed Native or all Native, we don't really know. But my mother's father was half black and half white, making my family genetic hybrids, all right? Because if both my parents are mixed and I mix with both of them mixed, I would consider to be the hybrid of the three generations of family members from my mom's side and my dad's side. Since both my mom and my dad are mixed, I would be the genetic hybrid because I would be the third generation, technically the second generation of mixed, but the third generation of that family lineup. I understand how that goes? So now let's get back to Blade. Right? Blade, to be a half-breed, one of his parents would have literally had to be a vampire. Blade never met his father, but his father was not a part vampire. Blade became part vampire because of the insides and Deacon Frost when he attacked his mom while she was pregnant with Blade, and she went into labor and gave birth to Blade. Okay? So Blade is not half-vampire. 
He is a hybrid anomaly, though, because the enzymes mutated him. Blade had no genetic factor that was going to turn him into a mutant, all right? But the enzymes inside of Deacon Frost's saliva as he bit Blade's mom, who was currently pregnant, will, scientifically speaking, and I do air quotes because I'm not a scientist, but they have theorized and sometimes proven that the embryonic sac inside of a woman's womb while she is carrying the baby protects the baby from most communicable diseases. You know, if the mom gets sick with the flu, the baby generally doesn't get sick, but it doesn't help the mom that she's sick with the flu having a baby inside of her belly. All right? Do some reading. Just so if you guys don't want to believe that shit. Um, in, in many pa ca cases where a woman who has had AIDS has had babies that have not had AIDS, but the woman had AIDS. And the embryonic sac protected the baby from all diseases. Going on that theory, and that has actually been proven, going on that, you know, the enzymes from Deacon Frost's slob and bite on Blade's mom mutated Blade making him a hybrid anomaly versus people thinking that Blade is half vampire and half human. Blade is all human. He's just a hybrid anomaly due to the fact that neither one of his parents were vampires. His mom was normal before Deacon Frost bit her. All right. Now, I don't remember if he turned her or if he bit her she gave birth and died. I don't remember the, the whole total origin of Blade in the comics or the movies. But I can tell you that Blade, the Daywalker, is no closer to being a vampire. Which is why he has all of your strengths and none of your weaknesses. He would have never had their weaknesses because neither one of his parents, his biological parents, neither one of them were vampires. Which makes Blade a hybrid anomaly. He's a hybrid because of his enzymes giving him vampire characteristics from birth. That makes him the hybrid. He's an anomaly because neither one of his parents were vampires. Are you understanding where we're going with this conversation? We're, we're delving into some science. We're going down a rabbit hole that you guys might not like. A lot of people for many of years who have been Blade fans have always assumed that Blade is a half-breed, but Blade is not a half-breed. Blade is not a vampire at all. What Blade is, is a hybrid anomaly. Now, why is he a hybrid anomaly? He's a hybrid due to the bite and what the embryonic sac that he was in changed his DNA while he was being born. Now, for Blade to have been an actual half-breed, one of his parents would have had to be a vampire. Let me give you a prime example of what character would technically be a half-breed. Or, he technically is a hybrid, but he is technically a half-breed as well. I can give you two. And they're both X-Men. Adam X is the son of Deacon and Catherine Summers. Now, he is not biologically connected to Scott, Gabriel, or Alex other than by their mother, Catherine. He has the same mother as those three guys. But he has a different daddy because he's a, a rape baby. All right? He's also a Shi'ar prince. I do not know what Marvel has done with him. But he is a rape baby because Catherine did not consent to him being born. And he's older than Gabriel. So I don't know how the hell that happened. Or maybe he's younger than Gabriel and maybe some retconning has been going on. But Gabriel, a.k.a. Vulcan... And then there's Alex Summers, a.k.a. Havoc. And then there's Scott Summers, a.k.a. The Cyclops. But Adam X, a.k.a. Extreme, is also their brother. They all have the same mother. He's the only one with a different dad. Again, unless that's been retconned and they kind of found out he's actually Corsair's son like the other three are. Okay, which is kind of messed up that all of Corsair's kids are mutants and Corsair wasn't. So that's kind of... That's an anomaly in itself. But they do say the mutant gene sometimes skip a generation. Okay? Which is kind of fucked up because Franklin Richard would be an anomaly as well as a hybrid because neither one of his parents were mutants. They got their powers by cosmic rays. Okay? 
See where we're going? Am I giving you enough information? Now, half-breed Shatterstar. Shatterstar is a half-breed. He's also a hybrid anomaly because he is the son of a mutant and the son of an alien from a different dimension because Longshot is not a human. He is a humanoid, but he is not a human. He is from Mojo World, which is a TV world where he's an actor and a performer, but it's their real life. So that being said, we're going to have to make a part two. Thank you for watching. I'm Echo Fangrave Wolf.